Yes, it's a new week, and I got a new episode of On Top and Hot for you. I'm John Zadar, and this is Monday. It is August 19th. Now, what I normally do here is share with you a hot penny stock that I found as I was trading penny stocks through the day. I trade stocks under five bucks every day, and I am constantly looking for a hot penny stock a penny stock that has potential to make us money. Now, normally, I bring you one per show. I got six of them to share with you today, but they're not all penny stocks. Two of them are, last week, three of them were, two of them are, and four of them are not. But all six of these stocks have very strong potential to make us money. All six of them have one thing in common. They all deal with monkey pox in one way or another. Now, I went looking around trying to find every company on the public exchange. I found six, but that doesn't mean there aren't any more, but I did give it a good search. And I haven't even considered the private sector because you can't invest in them. I'm really not looking for a cure. I mean, I know we want one, but I'm looking for stocks to trade. So we have got six stocks that we are going to focus in on. Three of them we're going to focus in on tight. But I want you to be aware of what stocks to look at when news comes out about monkeypox. These are going to be the stocks that are running and making us money. Oh, I wish I could have found a better picture for you, but what am I going to do? We are talking about monkey box. It was about a week ago that the WHO, the World Health Organization, declared that monkey pox is now a global health emergency and concern. Monkey pox is a very serious and deadly disease, folks. It moves fast, it infects fast, and it kills fast. As of the writing of this article, over 450 people had already died. Now, when this news came out, all six stocks dealing with monkeypox took off. There were strong gains to be taken, and they weren't all penny stocks. They come in a lot of different price ranges, with LabCorp Holdings, ticker LH being the most expensive, up there at $226. Today, she dropped about a half a percent, and she's on the New York Stock Exchange. Another high-priced stock, Bavarian Nordic. This is ticker BVNKF. She's up there at $40.76, dropping almost 5% today. And would you believe she's on the OTC, on the pink tier? Actually, the pink limited tier. This tells us she's in hot water. They are late on one or more of their financials, and if they don't get them caught up in time, they could easily find themselves down on the expert market where their shares cannot be traded. And the last stock that definitely is not a penny stock, this is Cigna Technologies, ticker S-I-G-A, finished today at $10.44, and she too was down about a half a percent today, and she's on the NASDAQ. Now, these aren't penny stocks, but I don't know what you trade. You may trade penny stocks and everything else as well. So now you're armed. You're going to know all six stocks that I found that deal with monkeypox. Those are the three that definitely are not penny stocks. So we're going to take a look at three stocks now that are penny stocks, or at least close to that neighborhood, that are involved with monkeypox. Now, because we know what the catalyst is, monkeypox. We're not going to go through all the news. We're not going to go through all the filings. We know what catalysts we are looking for. So whenever there is news about monkeypox spreading or a vaccine getting close to being finished or some home test kit being put on the market, these are the stocks that are going to be running. This is TNXP, Tonix Pharmaceuticals Holding Corporation, finished the day at 44 and a half cents and she was down about a half percent today. Now, this is a penny stock on the major exchange, which means you don't have to pay for any of your transactions. You can trade it pre-market, after-market. There's a heck of a lot more money on the major exchanges, so you're trading in a hot zone, and there's a lot more rules up there. So, your investment is just safer trading stocks on the major exchange. Now, I found in their financial results the one sentence that tells us about monkeypox. They tell us here that the U.S. Department of Defense awarded a contract of up to $34 million for over five years to develop a broad-spectrum antiviral drug. The World Health Organization recently declared spread of MPOX in multiple African countries in a public health emergency of international concern. Tonix's TNX-801 is an MPOX vaccine in development which protects animals against lethal challenges of monkeypox viruses. 
So there's the only sentence I could find. I didn't find any news that it was in. It was just in this most recent financial. So what was the relative volume around the company today? Holy cow. Wow. What an explosion. It's somewhere between 50 and 60 times her normal volume. She's been doing about 5 million shares a day over the last 30 days. Today, she did under 300 million, 288 million shares. Wow, what a lot of excitement. Share structure for the company. Oh, look at that. We've got ourselves a super duper low float. And I have no idea what it is. The outstanding share count is just under 3 million and your float can't be higher than the outstanding share count. So whatever the float is, it's really low. Market cap, we're at about 1.3 million. Financials for TNXP. Virgin revenues just coming into the picture at the end of 2023, $7.7 .7 million. We got to add three zeros to any of the numbers on any of these charts. And they got to keep about 40, 45% of that in profit, over 3 million bucks. Quarterly, well, there's the last two quarters for 2023 where their revenues came from. And they are continuing on making 2.4 million the first quarter of 2024 with 822,000 profit. Uh, we should have another financial already out, probably is. I'm not going to go look because that's not our catalyst. That's probably where that sentence came from about the monkey box, though. Balance sheet for the company. We've got about $7 million in the bank, about $135 million in total assets. Liabilities is way down there, $27 million. So we got lots of stockholder equity in this company of $108 million. So they are involved with monkeypox, but I couldn't find it in any news in the past. So I'm not real sure that this company had a jump when that news came out from the who, but I'll bet you she had a jump when it came out in the financials. Let's go take a look at that chart. So we're going to cover all these stocks on my free trading platform, Thinkorswim. Right now, we're looking at TNXP on a six-month, four-hour view. About five and a half months ago, we had a high of over $22. And just a couple days ago, we hit a low of about 40 cents. Now, it was in June, we had a big drop right here. She went from about $5 down to buck twenty, and she just kept dribbling downhill to that 40 cents. And right now, she is starting to break out. She got very strong pushed up hard, has fallen back down, and it looks like she's bouncing off of our 200 haul. We had a lot of heat in our oscillators, but it pretty much all cooled off. Now let's take a look at our 20 day, one hour view. We are missing a bump and jump. Seven days ago when the WHO, the World Health Organization announced a monkeypox news, all these monkeypox stocks jumped. Why didn't this one jump? Because nobody knew they were involved with monkeypox. They just came out with their financials news, and that's where they put that sentence that I read you, that they are involved with monkeypox. So that's why we got the jump now. So she came down to this low from about 50 cents when she was sitting right on top of her 200, dropped to 40, came back up, dropped again, and this time she launched from 45 cents up to 85 cents, just shy of 100% gains, and then ripped all the way right back down and she is way down here at 44 cents. This would be a great entry. If you're looking for a stock to pop when any news comes out about monkeypox, this is at a great buy price right now. Take a look at that five day, 15 minute. Going sideways, we had a pop here when pre-market. Once the bell happened, she fell all the way down. Here we go again, pre-market, a big rip up, a big drop down, another big rip. This is all pre-market, folks. And you don't need any special permissions or qualifications to trade pre-market after market. Just get in there and trade. I will give you two pieces of advice, though. One, the aftermarket and the pre-market are the wild, wild west. I mean, things don't act the same as they do during the day. A little bit of volume can get a stock to really move after market, pre-market. The other thing you got to know, before you place your order, make sure you change the time period for your order. It's not a day trade anymore. And that's what it's set by default. 
You've got to change it. You got to put an extended period or after hours or whatever your broker uses. You got to get that into the box or it won't even see your order. So I think TNXP is set up for a great entry. We see a bounce coming right now. She's down at her low vicinity. She has no right to be down here, really. She's just got a lot of volatility. Big bounces right now. Wouldn't you like to be a part of the next big bounce? And remember, when she is climbing, sell. Don't wait for it to start falling to sell. Sell when it's climbing. You don't have to sell everything. You know, sell 25% to 30%. Get some money in your pocket. Then when she comes back down, buy back in at that cheap price again and make more profit. I'm liking it. All right, let's go check out that next one. Our next stock for Monkeypox is Codex, ticker C-O-D-X. This is Code Diagnostics. This is a U.S. company based out of Utah. She finished the day today at $1.72 and she was up over 26%. This is a hot penny stock on the major exchange. Now, remembering we know what our catalyst is, Monkeypox, all I really want to do is verify that the company's involved with it. So I've jumped over here to their website, codex.com, and I just scrolled on down and saw these links Logic Smart Monkey Pox and Logic Smart M Pox. I have no idea what this information is about. All I know is I've got verification. They are involved with Monkey Pox. So, what was the relative volume around Codex? It exploded today, too. Her daily average over the last 30 days has been roughly 96,000 shares. Today, she did over 2 million. That's like 20 times her normal volume. Share structure for Codex. Not bad at all. We got an outstanding share count of 31 million. I don't know what the float is, but I know it won't be more than 31 million. And anything under 100 million is a decent float. So that's looking mighty nice. Market cap, we've got about 42 million. Financials for Codex. Well, they are making money, just not a lot of it. Where did it all go? Over the last four years, her revenues have been falling hard from 74 million up to 97, then down to 34, and now we're under 7 million. Yes, we are still bringing home profit. We got 2.6 million out of that. Quarterlies, God, they are all over the place, aren't they? We got a low down here by 200 and we're all the way up to 2.6 million here in their last quarterly, which is a good sign. And they got to keep virtually most of that for $2.4 million. Balance sheet for the company. Well, they got lots in the bank, about 14 million, 80 million in assets, and only one tenth of that in liabilities, just a little over 8 million. So again, we've got a company that's got strong stockholder equity. It's got $72 million. They are making revenues, though they seem to be all over the place right now, and they are making some profit. So it's not looking bad at all. And they're involved with monkeypox. So we can expect pops out of this stock whenever news comes out. Let's go take a look at the chart. We're looking at a very volatile chart for ticker CODX. Got her opened up to a six-month, four-hour view. As you can see, she has been all over that 200, way above it and way below it. We got a low here of a dollar that hit at the end of May, and then we got a high that hit today of $1.94. Now, what we see here is a breakout off of her financials. That was back seven days ago when she was at a buck and she has just been slowly and steadily climbing up, up, up without any hindrances whatsoever. All of our SMAs have turned up and are climbing right now, getting ready to cross that 200, which will give us more strength than the price rise. However, we have to concern ourselves with how far away that nine day SMA is getting from the 20. Think of the price and all the SMAs is having rubber bands attached to them. If they stretch too far apart, they come slapping back together. So I'd be looking for a dip on this to come closer down to that 20. Strong volume the last three days. And look at our oscillators. Oh my God, they are all going to the moon and on fire right now. 20 day, one hour view. We had that downtrend till the financials hit that low bubble and bounced. Our 200 haul turned up at the same time. All of our SMAs did. And look at them. All nice, evenly calm, climbing up. We have got a really nice chart here, folks. 
Oscillators still showing a lot of strength. Our RSI did pull back, but is climbing again. Taking a look at our 5-day 15-minute. Jeez, it just doesn't get a whole lot better than that, does it, folks? Low in this corner, high in that corner, steady climbing all the way. This is exactly what we're looking for. You can see on our 15-minute, she is giving total homage to our 50-day SMA. She floats on the 9, but when she drops, she drops down to that 50 and pushes back up to get her bearings. She's really climbing nicely here. She's floating right now where she's normally at. You might expect to dip down to the 50 wherever it's at when she dips. As we said, the volume has been getting stronger. It was very strong today. Our 200-day SMA is definitely in an uptrend. And all of our oscillators were just cooling off a bit. And now they're starting to warm up again. I'm liking the chart for CODX. And I'm liking the fact that she's a monkeypox stock too. All right, let's go take a look at that last stock, GOVX, which was a hot play last week. We're now taking a look at ticker GOVX. This is GOVAX Labs. And God, has she got a hot chart, folks. It has been running for the last seven days. A week ago, she was at about a buck sixty. Yesterday, she closed the day out just a little over seven bucks. This morning, pre market, she hit $12. Then she went into a tailspin, falling down to $7.15, giving us a 1.2% gain over yesterday's close. This could be a buying opportunity. This is a penny stock on the major exchange. She is on the NASDAQ. So let's validate that this company is involved with monkeypox. I dove into their site, found a piece of news, and found a response to the WHO news that came out. In response to the global need to address the continued emerging threat from monkeypox, Geovax previously announced having secured rights from the National Institutes of Health here in the United States, covering preclinical, clinical, and commercial uses of the drug as a vaccine against monkeypox and smallpox. There's our validation. So what was the relative volume around the company today? Another explosion? Jumping from about 5.2 million shares as a daily average over the last 30 days to over 40 million shares today. Share structures for Geovax. Hot damn, we got ourselves another super duper low float. Outstanding share count is 2.3 million. I don't know what the float is, but it's not going to be any higher than that. So we've got ourselves an excellent float, whatever it is. Market cap for the company, we are just over 16 million. Financials, what happened to them? <laughs> they disappeared. Four years ago, we were at 1.8 million and we have been sliding downhill until we had nothing at the end of 2023. Is it still that way? Well, it just changed. Last quarter of 2024, just a little while ago, we had $300,000 on the books, though I don't know where that came from because they didn't pay anything for it. If they were manufacturing a drug or something, there'd be expenses. So maybe they license something out or they've got consultation or something like that. Taking a look at the balance sheet for the company, we got money in the bank, about $1.5 million. We've got $4 million in assets. Ow. 6.4 in liabilities. So we are holding stockholder deficit in this company of $2.3 million. So we've got stockholder deficit. Very little revenues that can't be counted on. And the profit, well, it's whatever the revenues are right now. It doesn't look all that great, honestly, except for the fact we've got a super duper low float and we have a hot catalyst. Regardless of all that we just looked at, despite all of that, monkeypox news comes out, this stock could run. Though I'm not real sure she's done dropping yet. Maybe we could get a better price. Let's go take a look at that chart. This is ticker GOVX, got her opened up to a one day, one year chart. Now you can see we've got a high here of $11.18 on our yearly chart, but when you come down to our four hour chart, it says it's $12. Now keep that high in mind. I'm going back three years. They tell us three years ago we had a high of $103. No, we didn't. 
What we had was a reverse stock split here at the beginning of the year, a 1 in 15. And what they did is everything behind that reverse stock split got multiplied as well as everything in front of it. So this high, you got to divide by 15. So you're looking at six and a half, seven dollars for the high. Where right now, we're looking at a $12 high, an all-time high. We have never been this high before. So we were in a downtrend here, hit this low bubble in June, bounced off of that, got a nice surge out of that, running from a buck up to $4.78, coming back underneath the 200, and then she started to run from about a buck 60, she pushed herself up to $12, going through all of our supports and resistances, and then falling all the way back down here to my resistance of $7.04, and our price is $7.15. You can see these last few days, we've had very strong volume. All of our SMAs have turned up and have gone across the 200, but they are all starting to turn down now. This nine day SMA got way, way too far away from that 20. It had to come down and it may come down even more. I wouldn't be surprised to see it come down to six bucks. Shoot, it may even come all the way down to $5, folks. It is possible. Our oscillators were very strong, but as you can see, they've all turned down, as you would expect, and are falling right now. 20-day, one-hour view. So there's your run. Man, you could see how she was getting stronger and stronger until she just went parabolic pre-market, jumping from $7.24 to 12 bucks, and she did that in about an hour. And then she came crashing down once the bell went off, coming all the way down to that support of $7.05. All of our SMAs are still climbing. There is a chance she could bounce here, the way the chart looks. Volume is strong, oscillators are not. Every single oscillator is pushing down hard right now. I am expecting this to dip further. Let's come on down to that five day, 15 minute. So there's your low bubble, $1.85 five days ago hit that high of 12 bucks and fell down. She's still falling after market, but look, she's gotten trapped on this support at $7.04. If she breaks this, she would come down to about $6.50. Hopefully she wouldn't come down any lower than that. But I'm liking this stock, folks, because she shows a lot of people are watching her. When volume comes in, this thing tears it up. Pre-market, you're going to want to watch this stock pre-market. As you can see, she does some serious bouncing and jumping. So right now, she is on a down decline. Looks like she might have found a floor. I'm liking all the stocks we looked at, folks. Depending on where you like to invest, you've got something. From the hundreds down to mid-hundred, you know, like 40, 50 bucks, down to 10 bucks, down to $7, down to 50 cents. We've got stocks at every single range. So put all six, well, whatever stocks you're interested in, put them all on your watch list. And you watch them. When news comes out about monkeypox from anybody else, watch if these stocks run. And of course, watch and see if the stocks themselves put out news about monkeypox. There you go, folks. I hope this helps you. I hope it prepares you to make some money. And when you do, let me know. I like to know that my information helped you. Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.